Hey folks, we're kicking off another pickups video with this particular duo, which I'm very, very proud of. Uh, they're quite boring computers, I suppose. Uh, just a couple of these small form factor uh, HP systems. I think they've got G630 processors in there, so LG1155. So if I wanted to, um, they could be quite easily upgraded. Um, however, the price I got them for was just over twenty pounds for them both. So that you know, about eleven pounds each, which is just crazy. Uh, which uh, let me just flip one around. Well, both even is quite heavy. Okay, so yeah, having a look at the back, you can see they're all modern with the. Um, inbuilt USB 3 and whatnot, and I'm actually considering doing all mod tech type stuff on one of them and keeping them for myself, turning it into a like an emulation stroke streaming machine for my front room. Because at the moment, I just use an old laptop, uh, so if we've downloaded anything and want to watch it, if it doesn't actually, if it's not understood by our TV, I should say, then we use the laptop instead. This could make a very nice machine to do that. And I could pop a little graphics card in there and use it for emulating as well. So maybe that could be a decent little project, uh, especially if I wanted to go all mod tech on it and uh, cut it all up and paint it and whatnot. It could be something quite cool. But uh, anyway, I'll crack open one of these and we'll have a look inside and see what's what. Okay, here we go. Nothing especially exciting to look at. Just a basic small form factor processor. They've just got two gigs of RAM in there to begin with, which uh, obviously I will upgrade. Maybe just four gig for one of them, which I'll just straightforward flip. And the other one, if I decide to keep it, I might go a bit further. Um, they're even nice enough to include the screws I can fill in here because the actual caddy, uh, if that's the right word, I suppose, uh, the actual hard drive area in here uses fat screws which essentially lock the hard drive in place uh, I suppose you could kind of in some ways call it a screwless design you don't use normal ones you basically just slap these inside the, the hard drive slap the hard drive in and it'll just lock in and away you go and obviously I'm, I've got no shortage of hard drive so that should be dead easy to do but yeah for a first pickup of the month a pair of systems which easily will quadruple what I've put on there if I decide to sell them both uh, hmm, yeah, not a bad start. Hey guys, another little update in this little funky Acer machine. Uh, I've managed to pick it up for just a tenner, which, uh, although the spec isn't mind blowing, it's a first gen i3. Um, I could upgrade it if I wanted to, but I think it's just a really sweet little machine. It'll tidy up really well. I'm thinking this one I might actually keep for myself. I have been promising. Uh, myself a machine to replace a dodgy old laptop we're using in our front room for streaming and things and this would look really neat it's going to be really handy with the USBs on the front and whatnot um, yeah just a nice tasty little thing and if I'm honest an absolute steal uh, just needs a bit of RAM and a hard drive which uh, I'm not really sure of so that's not gonna be a problem um, yeah pretty cool nice little update couple more things have arrived this morning which uh, is pretty damn nifty quite well packaged in this little funky box what we should have in here is some fun things to play with and see if they work uh, let me just unpack and we'll see ta-da! so there we've got them a couple of gigabyte LGA1155 boards which I am very 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 pleased with uh, although I will need to pick up a battery from somewhere for that, but that's that's neither here or there. Uh, these were sold as untested, so there's a chance that uh, I've just essentially bought a couple of duds here. However, I was willing to risk it because the price of these was just shocking for both of them as well, and they were incredibly well packaged, so I'm more than happy to take the risk. If they do work, then they do pay off pretty well because I've got on board... USB 3 and whatnot, and well, to be fair, considering most of these things I build at the moment are this uh, LGA 1155, this could turn into a couple of really funky little PCs. Um, a quick update 
uh, on the PC case, uh, which by now I should have uploaded the review of the Game Max Mini Callus case. I just had an email this morning basically saying that uh, they can't um, replace the side panel and whatnot, but they've given it for me for free. So originally I was going to return it to them, and I've unbuilt the PC now, ready to do so. Uh, but yeah, according to this morning's email, it's completely free of charge. They basically give me a full refund, which I've already had, and uh, told me to keep the case. So boom, there we go. Although it is cracked, uh, I think I might be able to do something with buying a cheap piece of acrylic and maybe patching that up. I don't know, but either way, a free little case like that is always a winner. And hopefully, we'll experiment with these shortly and see what's going on. If we can get them to boot, then happy days. Okay, test number one. I've got it all wired up to my TV and things. Uh, with a rather fancy £3 cooler on there, which I'm sure we can all agree is... Actually, to be fair, I was about to mock it, but it looks quite cool on the blue board. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what it's like when you turn it on. Uh, yeah, I suppose there's not really much else to do but whack it on and see what happens. Let me just turn the power supply on. There we go. Uh, stab at these things. Which one's out there? Oop. Okay, that's a good sign. It turns on. Okay. Huh. Well, the fact it comes on is quite cool. Uh, let me just plug in a keyboard and we'll have a quick look through the BIOS. Okay, I have a keyboard on my lap. And a boot area, obviously, because nothing's happening. Let me just control alt delete that bad boy. Uh, delete. Did I make that in time? Nope. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, I'm going to need to do this off camera because I'm really struggling with my left hand here. One second. Okay, there we go, we're in the BIOS. Let me just quickly have a glance. I don't need to see that, I suppose, for the time being. Okay, well, to be honest, I don't really know why I'm looking through this too much at the moment. The fact it's booted on is more than I was expecting. Uh, I suppose I could try and make sure it recognises the processor and things. God, I'm really not good with my left hand on this keyboard down here. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's everything I'd want. What a winner! Okay, one board down. Let's uh, whip out the parts and put it onto the next one. And, um, well, even if not the price I paid for it, that's a bargain on its own. Especially because of the four memory card slots as well, uh, which uh, might sound daft, but a lot of these boards I tend to, to end up with have just two slots, so that's quite useful. Uh, anyway. I'm going to shut up and get on with this and see if we can make this a twofer. Lovely. Okay, just while I'm uh, getting this second board here set up, I uh, just wanted to show you something with that cooler. Um, because I've not seen this before and to be honest I think it's pretty damn nifty to be fair. Uh, just the way it, it fits, I've never seen this. Some of you will have seen this a million times but I've never come across it. Uh, basically just pop these on here. Just line them up with the holes. Okay, and then you take these little clear pieces, kind of slot them into these holes, 
and pop them into the actual hole in the motherboard. Sorry, I'm not going to make this look particularly elegant because I'm doing this with my left hand. And as we have established, I am pretty much useless with it. Okay, that's that's them in, and then you take these little pins here and you pop it in. And when you clip it into place, it just locks the actual bracket, I suppose the, the word would be, for the cooler onto the motherboard, and you're all set. Anyway, I'll carry on with this. It's just something minor, obviously. <laughs> you guys may not be interested too much, but I was quite fascinated. I've not seen anything like that before. I'll put one on there. There we go. And then once it's on, as you can see, it's all fully secure and whatnot. You just clip the actual cooler on with these clips either side, just onto these parts here and here, and you're done. What a winner. Anyway, I'll carry on setting this up and we'll see if this thing's dead or not. Right. That's the cooler attached, everything also all on there. Let's uh, let's try the second one. Take a stab at these again. Oh, I think I forgot to send the bloody power oh, supply on again. Oop. Well, I think that came on, and then went straight back off. Be as lucky with that one, but the fact it came on has me interested. Let me just put this camera down and have a little fiddle around. Let's see what's going on. Okay, right. Well, if this turns on, then it was really dumb. You might have been able to spot that this power lead wasn't in very well, so it might not have been in enough. Mm, nothing yet. Okay, maybe this might just be one out of the two, but uh, I'll keep digging. I thought it might be something really daft like that, but clearly I'm not that lucky, but we'll, we shall see if I can get this going. Okay, I think I was actually just stabbing at the wrong power pin, so let me just... Yeah. Come on. I got that in enough. Yep. Okay, so I might not be quite as lucky with this one, but I will do some digging because the fact it's turning on is quite interesting. I think first thing I'll plug a speaker into it and see if that gives any beeps. That can normally give you an indicator anyway. Yeah, I've got a good feeling maybe I can get this one going. If not, it's not a huge loss. The other board works fine. That's good enough for me, but uh, hmm, we shall see. Okay, I really, really wish I was recording this or I had a tripod set up and just left it recording because I literally just plugged that speaker in, turned it back on, and hmm, there we go. Beeps away quite happily. Unbelievable. Well, obviously I'm not complaining, but uh, let's have a look. I'm just going to try and swap hands. Uh, but I'm trying not to cover the microphone, so there we go. Okay, well, it's already a kind of fancier BIOS in the other one. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'm blown away. One of those lucky bargains. Two boards, so both seem to be working fine. I'm really looking forward to building systems into them anyway, and uh, yeah, what a winner! Brilliant. Let's see what bargains I can come up with next. Well, hello guys, I think this will be the last update for this year. Uh, I managed to pick this up on Christmas Eve of all times, it popped up, and uh, 
Well, although I was a bit unsure whether I was buying one or three of these, what's in here, judging by the... I can't really get this across to you, but judging by the weight of this thing, should be a very, very tasty hustle indeed, and something I think I might even do a project off, um, because I've always been wanting to see how good a PC I can build for a very cheap price. But anyway, I'm going to crack this open, and if what I hope is in here is in here, which, judging by the weight, I think is, this is a very nice little uh, trio of hustles, I should say. Okay, yep, yeah, looks like my luck is in. Now, to anyone who looks at used PCs, what this is is absolutely familiar to you. It's the classic Dell Optiplex. You see them all over YouTube for people building budget PCs because, generally speaking, they are fantastic. I had one for a couple of years, right up until the beginning of this year, before I decided to slightly upgrade. Uh, my original Optiplex was an i5 2400S or 2500S, can't quite remember now, with a 750 Ti in. And then I decided to go a bit crazy and uh, built a 2500K system, which I then swapped for the 2700K as it currently is. Anyway, what these are are a little bit more special and something I can very much hope to flip. Uh, I've got three. One, uh, I can't see them through the bubble wrap and I can't really let this go. Oh, hang on, maybe I can. Well, yeah, I'm sure you know I'm not going to... Uh, live but there's another one and another one in there so there's three altogether that I picked up for just over £30 each and these are 4th gen i5 systems which I mean that is ridiculous now if the listing's correct there's no hard drives which isn't a problem I've got a load there and I've actually got a bunch more coming and there's no RAM again not a problem that box there contains loads of RAM so I should be able to put these up to 8 gig each Mm, yeah, without really much of a problem, though I do think I'm going to take one of these and build up something a bit more special with maybe 16 gigs of RAM. Depends on what I can get my uh, greasy mitts on, but anyway, out of interest, let's crack over the side and see what's inside. Right, that's the uh, innards, nothing really much to look at. Now, just to clarify what we are missing here, um, now these never came with any kind of video cards, that's fine, there isn't one. They've got a VGA and display port out, that's fine. Um, there's no hard drive caddies, that's again not a problem, I can pick them up for cheap enough. Or if I'm really going ghetto, what I like to do is use a uh, five and a quarter inch to three and a half inch adapter and simply install the hard drives up here. Fine, no problem, so long as there's a hard drive in there, nobody really cares to be honest. Uh, enough room for 16 gigs of RAM in there, though I usually only put eight when I'm flipping them. What's really good about the systems though is the processor um, which is the fourth gen uh, should be I think 4590 um, which is a absolutely fantastic chip especially when you consider the price I picked up each of these systems for that's just unbelievable but to be super safe I'm going to crack over in the uh, heat sink and we'll just double check the CPU okay here's the CPU and I'm not sure if this is going to focus too well uh, really sorry if that's not working I can't really see very much on the screen but the gist is it is the 4590 uh, as expected so to have three systems with this tasty bad boy in is just phenomenal for the price I've paid I mean pfft. if even if just one turned up I would have been a little bit disappointed but that's still not terrible but to have three wow so yeah, I'm going to have some fun with these. Um, my gut feeling is for two of them at least to whap 8 gigs of RAM in there, um, some sort of video card which doesn't require an external power supply, uh, if I can get hold of some 750 Ti's or something of that type, that'll be fine. I may even just put something basic, as long as it's got HDMI on it, I've not really got big, big plans for these other than to essentially quadruple my money. Um, but for one of them, my gut feeling is to stuff it full of RAM, uh, maybe swap the power supply because although that's not a proprietary connection there are very cheap adapters as well just make a bit of a project out of it which I think might make a fun video but um, yeah what a way to end the year it is now uh, nearly New Year's Eve so I think this will be the last update I add and start fresh for next month but um, yeah quite a lot of stuff going on at the moment and exciting times anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this update of bits and bobs I've picked up you'll no doubt see the things I've made uh, turn up in other videos including that case but uh, yeah thanks so much for watching if you want to see more of these then subscribe like and all that fun stuff other than that guys thanks very much for watching again uh, have a good new year see you soon